Hey guys, it's Isabella here and welcome back to my channel. So, welcome to my couch. I'm actually sitting on the floor in front of my couch because the lighting's better than sitting on the actual couch. But today, I'm finally doing another cosplay story time. Insert sound effect here. I don't think I'm doing that. Anyway, so this is a different format for my thing. I thought it'd be fun. I'm in my hedgehog onesie and I'm at my couch. I have my stuff penguin Pablo here with me today. And I thought I'd share with you the story of my first masquerade. So my first masquerade was at Yomacon 2019 and I have vlogs from all four days up of that. If you want to go see like for more details, I'll like, they're there. I don't know why I did this. There's nothing here. It's Pablo. But um, I will be including pictures and videos like when I feel like I should in this video. Without further ado, let's get started. So, Yomacon 2019. I knew that I wanted to compete in the masquerade for it. I didn't know if I wanted to do it alone or with a group and then we decided, like I talked to some people and we decided to do it alone, like we didn't do it as a group. And so I had to think about what I wanted to do and I instantly knew that I wanted to do Katara from Avatar The Last Airbender. Picture there. And so I decided I was going to make the costume myself and I would do a dance performance for like the classical Chinese dance called water dancing which is where you have like the really long sleeves. And they're called water sleeves. So I was like, well, it's like water bending, but it's not. So I made the costume myself and it's very bad. Like I sewed about a portion of it and then I hot glued a portion of it and then I gained weight so it no longer fit so I had to like cut the sides off the shirt and stuff which was very fun to deal with but I had that figured out I knew what I wanted to do I needed to dance so I started looking for music and when I was looking for Chinese dance music my problem was I kept finding songs that I already knew like pretty choreographed dances to and I wanted to like choreograph something myself so I skipped through one song to like the halfway point because I didn't know the dance after that and I decided to choreograph a dance from there. And it was very bad. It was really rough. I had no idea what I was doing. I was in the studio space at my university practicing and then I hated everything I did. And so I was like, it's okay. I'll just like experiment with movement and then I'll work on it next week. And I kept doing that up until the week before Yomacon when I decided I'm not choreographing a dance anymore. <laughs> so I was like, I know what movements I like and I know what movements I don't like. I just can't figure out a way to like put it all together. So I was like, it's okay. I have a week. I have a week to figure out a dance. That's not the first time when I wouldn't have had a lot of time. The fastest I ever learned to dance was 15 minutes before we performed at my dance studio. So I wasn't that concerned about it. And then before I knew it, I was at the Airbnb at Yomacon and <laughs> there was nothing else I could do. I couldn't practice anymore because I was there and there wasn't a lot of space. And I was like, well, I'm pretty okay at improv, but you'll see how that goes. Anyway, so Saturday rolls around and you have to do like pre-judging where they like examine your costume that you made and then if you're doing a performance, they watch your performance and give you any like notes about it. And I got there for my time and they didn't call me in for like another hour and a half after. So I was sitting there like on the floor with Taylor because she was doing the masquerade too. And I, I, we were just waiting, we were waiting for so long and I was kind of annoyed about it because it was Saturday and there were people that I wanted to see, but it was fine. I went, I showed them my dance first and the lady was really excited about it. Remember, I improv the whole dance. When I was there, she put on the music and I just made stuff up and she was really excited about it. She was a dancer, so she was like, oh my god, yeah, and she had actual notes to give, and then she said, I really loved when you did this one thing, but 
I could not remember what it was she said that I did that she loved and I got so scared because I was like well if it's not there like what if I don't do it and then she knows she knows that I'm making it all up so I'm sitting out in the hallway still waiting for my costume judging time and I'm like stressing I'm like what did I just do in there what did I just perform I like listen to it over and over and over again and I realized it was an attitude turn she really liked my attitude turn I was like okay well I can put an attitude turn in there I will not forget an attitude turn so that happened and then it came time for costume judging and they required like a printed out picture of our costume like reference to compare it to I printed one and then left it in my dorm so then I went with the crew to go to Meyer and I printed like I paid to print another picture and then I left that at the Airbnb before prejudging and there was like a CVS or something inside Kobo or the hotel it was in the hotel where the thing was held and so I printed another picture there so I spent like six dollars on printing pictures when I went to give it to them they're like oh we just we don't need to keep it you can keep it and I was like I, I already have two you can have it and they were like oh okay then then they asked like about my construction process they were like is this hot glue and I was like yes it's it's hot glue it's kind of embarrassing but it's fine they asked questions about like how long it took and they were like oh why did you like dye the sleeves like this and I was like well I wanted like a water gradient so I explained that to them and as soon as I left from that pre-judging I knew I was not getting anything for costuming. Another thing about Yomacon is because it's a really big con, everyone was amazing. When I was sitting there waiting for that hour and a half, two hours, I kept seeing all these amazing costumes. Like there was a really great Zelda I remember seeing. I just, I was like, oh my God, I look like I'm at a dance comp with my leotard and tights and everyone else has tutus. That's what I felt like sitting there, but it was fine. Taylor finished that and then we left. After that, I went back to the Airbnb and like relaxed a little bit before we had to go to the actual show. We were supposed to be there an hour before it started. And so I was not the one who drove. So we were gonna leave and we left a little later, but I don't know why. I think it was my fault because I wanted to eat pasta. But if you don't know this about me, I hate being late. Like it stresses me out majorly to be late to things. I hate when I'm late. I hate when people are late to like meet with me. I'm always early so like I was counting on the time like I knew I would be late to like the backstage one hour before we're supposed to go on stage and I didn't know it was my first masquerade so I thought like if I didn't come on time they might not let me into the green room they might not let me perform that wasn't the case so I texted Taylor I was like super scared I was like please please like tell them that I'm on my way and that I'm gonna be late and she was like they won't care but like I cared and I felt really bad about being late and I was literally three and a half minutes late <sighs> I knew I was three and a half minutes late because I counted I was timing myself but I was late and it didn't even matter because everyone was just sitting in the it was like a ballroom but they set up chairs with like a little mini stage and tables and they were like oh um if we don't call your name now please fill out like an introduction card and I was confused because I already filled out the introduction card online and they called my name again and it turned out they didn't get any of the introduction cards from any of the people who like submitted them online in advance. They only had the introductions for the like walk-ins, which I thought was a little bit annoying because I would have to like rewrite it out again and I don't remember what I said, but I do remember like having three people overlook it because I was nervous and I wanted it to sound okay. It was really cringy and embarrassing by the way, like if you watch the video which I will link below my performance the intro I was like did I come up with those words for this man to say but I did and it's really embarrassing so I get there and it's fine no worries they don't do anything with us after they tell us to like write our introductions and then they split us up by performance and by craftsmanship and so that's where I had to say goodbye to Taylor because I was to perform at the Shoes and Craftsmanship. And then after that, we just sat there for like 45 minutes. Now, 
Remember, we're supposed to be there an hour before the masquerade started. So that means the masquerade is supposed to start in like 15 minutes. And my timing might be a little bit off because it felt like forever that I was there. But um, they went and got us pizza. Like, pizza. So they, they ordered pizza and snacks. They had like chips and pretzels and they had like soda and like tea and stuff for us. And I was like, oh, this is nice, but I'm, we're going on soon. So I didn't eat anything. I took a Snapple for later because I was like, well, I'm probably gonna want this later. I didn't eat any pizza. I didn't eat any snacks. They went really fast. I was confused. Taylor found me. She was like, this never happens. Like, I've never been to a mask where this happened before. And it was kind of weird. And so we're eating pizza and snacks. And then it's time. We're supposed to be going on for the masquerade, except it doesn't start. We sit there and we wait for like another 30 minutes after that. So we're like running into the masquerade time at this point. And I had planned a performance for like right after the masquerade at 11 p.m. that I was supposed to be like in and a part of. So I was like worried about the time because I don't like being late. I hate like changing things up like that. So it was really stressful for me, honestly. But we just kept sitting and waiting, sitting and waiting. They finally put us in an order to go on. We finally get to perform. Um, when it was my time to go, it's like we walked downstairs like to a back area to get to where the actual massacre was being held. And we're not allowed to stand backstage until the person before us is on stage. So I get to see one person perform before me and then it's my turn to go. And I perform on stage a lot like for dance and I performed on some like weird places like I performed on a basketball court for dance I performed on stages with Marley without Marley like hardwood stages I performed on like streets like in the middle of the road for like festivals and stuff I performed there with like Marley without Marley this stage was carpeted and I did not expect to have to deal with a carpeted stage if you watch the performance you'll see my turns do not look good at all. I was wearing jazz shoes, so that was good. I'm never doing a point performance at a masquerade because I don't know what the stage is going to be like. And when we did our pre-judging, we did not perform on the stage for the masquerade. It was just in like a little side room. So I go on, I make up like two minutes of BS Isabella doing Chinese dance moves that she likes. I put in an attitude turn because that's what the judge liked. And then I got off stage and I was like, well, it was an experience. And now I never have to do it ever again. I left the stage and I didn't hear anyone in the audience applauding. It was just silent. I was like, is that normal? Maybe they are applauding. I'm just too nervous that I can't hear. I didn't hear any applause. So I was like gutted. I was like, well, what should I expect? I made it all up when I was there anyway. Like, I should have prepared more for it. And then I get backstage, and I was like the third person to go on, by the way. And they have a little projection screen up so we can watch everyone else's performances. And the more I watched the performances, the more I was like, I should have put more time into my performance because everyone else's were so well put together. And in my mind, I didn't know what it looked like because I didn't have a video or anything. I just thought that I looked like a fool on stage waving my arms around and I got like nervous. But then there was a really long break in between the performance and the uh, craftsmanship part of the masquerade. I remember during the really long break, I know it was really long because I was getting bored sitting there waiting. I was changed into, I changed out of Katara, I changed into Ari because I needed her for the show. That was supposed to start like really soon because the math grade was running late. And I was bored, I like, posted my story, I'm bored, does anyone want to talk? So I talked to Sarah at Waifu for Laifu for like 35 minutes, like while we were waiting for the math grade to continue, while I was getting ready in Ari and stuff. There's a bathroom right next door. So that happened and then Taylor walked across the stage. It was really great. And then it was time for awards and what they had us all do was go like down and around so that we could watch the rest of the performers. 
that's wrong. That's not what I meant to say. They had us like walk down like to the audience area so we could watch the like award ceremony thing. And so we're there, we're watching it and they go through awards for craftsmanship. They do judges awards. And then they do performance awards. And I like, I knew it was bad, but I kind of hoped in my mind that I would at least get like best beginner performance for it because you know like I'm very competitive I like to win things oh I forgot to mention when I did get back up after my performance multiple people said good job and they were like really nice and that made me feel better because remember I didn't hear anyone in the audience like applauding when I watched the video of the performance I think people did applaud I don't know every time I watch it I just get nervous because I don't like watching myself dance very much but they go through best beginner performance it's not me they go through best i think it's called journeyman performance which is like the second level so best intermediate performance it's not me and they go through best advanced performance and it's also not me and i was like well okay that's fine and then i like say to taylor who i'm with and cammy and autumn i'm like hey like because this is over like can we like leave because we all need to get ready for the show thing and they were like, oh yeah, sure, that's cool. All that was left was best overall performance, best overall craftsmanship, and like best in show. So we decided to leave. We go back to the green room area to like collect our stuff so we could head out for the performance that we're supposed to be going to. When we hear the best overall performance was me. I didn't even hear it. It was Cami who heard. And she was like, oh my God, you have to go now. You have to go. So. I am wearing Ari and in Ari I'm wearing these like five inch heels so I'm running down the stairs in this brand new costume I get there I couldn't believe that they called my name and then I like get up on stage and they're all like oh my god you did a costume change and then they handed me this you can't even see it because it's so big in this frame it's like half of my size I I won and I really couldn't believe it honestly it was really surreal because it was my first masquerade and then all that I was saying the whole time was that I wish I could have done more to showcase more of myself like even though they enjoyed it I know that I could have done better and so that's why I'm planning on doing better next year it's not gonna be the same dance it'll be a different thing but I'm actually gonna prepare on it this time because when I did end up watching the video back later of it, there were lots of mistakes. I think I'm actually gonna like redo it and reshoot a video of it this summer because it's a good dance actually. It's just my technique was not good at all. Hi, this is Editor Bella. I am going back through this and I forgot to mention that when I went back and watched like the award video on YouTube, like of the whole thing, they like said that they could all tell that I worked really hard on the performance and it made me feel like even worse because I know like I could have worked harder on the performance. I thought I'd add that in too because I really do wish that I could have showcased better than I did. Even if it's just for myself, even if they all thoroughly enjoyed it. No one knew I improv the dance on the stage, but I knew and I just wanted to like let you guys know like about that anyway i won best overall presentation and there was a cash prize with it which i was really excited about because it paid for all of my expenses for yomacon so that was like a bonus but we ended up being late for our live show which was really sad but people still showed up um everyone kept asking what the trophy was and i was like oh it was from the masquerade from the masquerade and then alex at waffle cosplay gave me his worm for it. It lives here now. Um, it was really exciting. One of my favorite moments about the masquerade was actually after the masquerade, after the live performance, when we were on the people mover, like heading back to do people mover stuff because we needed to find, <laughs> I can't remember. Every time I think of the word people mover, I just think about the sky bus because I called it that and everyone made fun of me for calling it a sky bus but um because we parked like not at the 
place where it was held. The masquerade was held at the hotel. This is at the convention center, and we parked next to the convention center. So we took the people mover back, and Alex was a sweetheart and carried the trophy. And they were like, oh my god, what did you win? And he was like, I didn't win anything. And I was like, best overall performance. Yeah, Alex. And so everyone on the bus started shouting, Alex, 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 which isn't even his name, but it was really funny. It was a good, <laughs> it was a good time. I really enjoyed it. Overall, the Yomaka Masquerade experience that I had was, it was kind of disorganized because the timing was super off. It started super late. Prejudging was super late. They gave us snacks and stuff, which was nice, but like, I didn't eat any of it because I thought we were performing soon, which is different, but I don't have any other masquerades to compare it to. I think the only reason why it was a good masquerade for me overall is because I won and I met a bunch of really great people during it. Like when I was signing up, I met people and like just backstage because they split me from Taylor. Like I got to meet people and that was really fun. Um, my only wish for the Omaha masquerade is that it would be more organized in the future. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Have you ever competed in a masquerade before? Please let me know if you have. If you want to know more about costume masquerades, I did a video on it that I will link in the description below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments. I answer all of them. I think I answer all of them. I try my best anyway. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like content like this, you can feel free to subscribe for more. I will be doing more story times in the future. I love you all. Goodbye.